Hey everybody, welcome to another Paint the Edge Up, where I teach you to make a cool painting in about an hour and get a little drunk doing it. My name is Joel, and today we are painting this right here. I call it Boat on the Water, okay, because I'm not creative with names. Uh, but it's a cool, nice painting. Uh, this picture is pretty pixelated. Well, I don't know, it's kind of weird. But uh, that's what we're painting. It's a cool painting. Um, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to paint that. Um, I'm going to tell you everything you need for it before I get started. Um, but also, if you haven't already, search Paint the Edge Jeff. I got links up here. Search, share, smash buttons, like buttons, all the things. Search Paint the Edge Jeff. That really helps me. Um, and also, I'm going to give away a free giveaway painting like I do with all my classes. All you got to do is correctly answer my subjective trivia question first in the comments, and I will send you a free giveaway painting of your choice. Um, all you got to do is guess my trivia question. And yeah, okay, with that, uh, let's start in about what you need for this painting. What you will need is a canvas, something to paint on. Um, I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas. You can use whatever size you want, but that's what I'll be using. Um, I have an easel. If you don't have somewhere to just lay it down, you want some kind of easel to paint on, or you can just lay it down flat if you like. Uh, I've also got paper towels for oopsie daisies. I've got water. You need a cup with water to mix um, your paint with. This is acrylic paint, so uh, water is its medium. I've also got a blow dryer, okay? Um, helps me dry my paint nice and fast. I've got whiskey, that helps me also paint. I've also got paper plates for my palette. Feel free to use whatever you want for a palette. I like paper plates just because they're easy and cheap. And then I've got um, tools here. I've got two pieces of chalk. I got my orange and my blue chalk, okay? That helps me draw on my paint. Um, and then I can kind of sketch on there with that. And then it comes right off, okay? I've got brushes, okay, pretty crucial for painting. I've got my big flat brush, my medium flat brush, my medium round brush, and my little baby round brush, okay? So those are my four brushes. I'm gonna take those, put them bristle down in my water cup. Anytime you're not using them, leave them there. I've also got a pencil and a kneaded eraser in case I need to erase something, okay? And colors, we've got black and white. Pretty much always needs a little black and white. Then we got some violet, also known as purple. I've got phthalo blue. I've got a bright red. I've got a sky blue, which you really don't have to have the sky blue. You could use phthalo blue and just add more white. But I figure why not use, I never use that color. Then I've got light yellow, okay? So those are my colors. And I believe that's everything. So with that, oh, you know what? I, don't, I haven't taken 11 shots. I've taken zero shots. Okay, um, so that's everything you need, and uh, yeah, let's paint the edge off. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Uno shots. All right, let's get going. Okay, so for this painting, let's go ahead and scooch this over just a tad. Right place. Okay. Um, what we want to do first is take our pencil and we're going to draw a little horizon line. Okay, the horizon line is going to be a little above halfway up our canvas. So if this is about halfway, uh, let's go up to about here. Okay, just a little above halfway. All right, let's make a little mark. Okay, let's draw a line across. Uh, maybe it's closer to the middle. Actually, this looks a little high. Let's put it right here. And a uh, good thing I have my kneaded eraser because I've already, I already messed that up. Ooh, kneaded eraser. Kneaded erasers are fun. Okay, there we go. Step one, done. Okay, let's, um, let's start painting. What we want to do is we're going to start with our sky, then we'll do our water. There's kind of these um, yellowy colors, then the blue around it. Uh, we're going to do those in the water and the sky first. So they reflect it, so they mirror each other. It looks like a reflection in the water. And I'll go back and add more details up top, then more down here, etc., etc. Okay? All right, it's been a while since I've done this painting, so bear with me. Let's take some yellow. Hi yeah, yellow. Lots of white. And let's take some of this here sky blue. All right. Okay, let's take our big brush out of our water cup, tap it off. And let's start with our yellow paint. So let's mix our water, our brush around, stir that brush around your yellow paint, get that water all stirred in with it. 
And let's mix in a little bit of white. All right. You don't really need a ton of this mixed up. It's not a huge space off your canvas, but... Okay, once I've got some yellow, let's take our big brush and I'm gonna start above my line here and I'm gonna go about a third of the space here. So if I cut this up into thirds, something like that, that's where I'm gonna go with this. Okay, and I'm gonna take this up, I don't know, a little less than halfway up my sky area. Something like that, okay? All right, hey, Petty Yellow, what's up? Hell yeah. You got your headphones in? They can't hear you. Today, the whole first quarter of our meeting, we need to get better with our uh, our outsourcing, our media development. Okay, let's take this down. I'm going to try to mirror this, okay? So I'm going to go down, trying to go down about the same distance there into the water. There we go. Look at that. Oh, nice. You're not even really in a meeting if you're muted and off camera. Are you? Or are you? Great, great group. Okay, let's wash our brush out nice and good. Let's take a little bit of white and our sky blue color. Let's mix those together. Lighten this up a little bit. You really don't even have to add that much white. Sky blue is kind of a nice color. If you don't have that sky blue and you're using a thalo blue or another blue, you know, just mix up a light blue. And this sky blue is kind of cruddy. Now I remember why I don't use this color a lot, because it's crappy. Okay, um, anywho, let's take this and let's go ahead and paint in around this. Let's just start filling this space in. I don't really need to go all the way to the edges, but I'm going to fill in most of this area. I'm careful not to touch the yellow yet. Just kind of fill in around it, get nice thick paint around it. Okay, I'm going to go all the way around this. I'm going to take this down into the water. Let's get this in there. Uh -huh. Again, I'm going to take this down, down to the bottom. I might take this down, I don't know, I might as well take this all the way to the bottom and the top of the canvas. I don't have to go all the way to the sides. Every so often, get a little bit more water, mix that in. <laughs> now, while the paint's still out, I do want to kind of mix that in, so I'm going to keep getting some more of this blue. Let's go in right around this yellow. And now we're going to kind of go right up to the edge there. Make sure I fill in all those blank spaces of my canvas. Get up there. Get up there. Okay, now I'm going to lightly, I might even take some water. Stir a lot of water in some paint just so it's, my brush is nice and wet. Helps it blend easier. Okay, and there we go. Got it kind of blending in the edges there. Let those greens just kind of mix there. Have a nice greenish edge there. I have to take more yellow, honestly. Maybe I didn't get quite enough yellow. This blue's kind of taking over, and my yellow's kind of drying, so maybe I'll just take just some water and just start wetting that up. Get that a little wetter. Yeah, I think I will take a little bit more yellow now. I'm going to wash my brush just a little bit. Go back to my light yellow here. Again, I want to work fast during this part because I, I want these colors to mix. Once it dries, they don't mix very well. So there we go. Now I got some more yellow. I'm going to grab some yellow, put it on there. And I don't get too crazy with this because it will all just, you'll end up just kind of making a big mess out of it. I'm going to do a few little brush strokes here like this and I'm going to leave it. You can let that kind of fade off there. Every so often I'd scrape your brush off because you got all that blue and yellow is mixing. If you want to get some bright yellow. There we go. Let's make this yellow area a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, um, that's pretty much step one. Okay, look at that. Congratulations. Let's take a shot. And we'll blow dry this for a second. 
do the trivia question and keep going. All right. <laughs> Cheers. Ah. Okay, that's two shots. Okay, um, I'm gonna blow dry and we'll do the trivia question, okay? All right, so, oh God, what did I do? Okay, today's trivia question is, uh, today's trivia question is, which of these famous animals is actually a flat earther? Is it A, George the skateboarding bulldog? B, Marcus the water skiing squirrel? C, Brenda the drawing elephant? Uh, D, none, they all believe in traditional science? E, Terry the BMX bear? Uh, or F, Stephanie the singing cat? Okay. So give a guess which uh, famous celebrity animal is actually a flat earther. And, um, we will uh, come back at the end. We'll give them all. Uh, I'll give the answer at the end. Okay. So that's our trivia question for this week. If you want to win a free painting, give her a guess. All right. Okay. This is kind of wet paint. Might take me a minute to dry this. So. So yeah, be patient. Blow dry this for a minute until you, it's not shiny anymore. You can kind of see in the light. If you turn it, you can kind of see where those shiny areas are. Get that dry. What do I do this week? Um, you know, my friend came over and he's got a new Xbox and he's like, let's play Madden. I'm like, yeah, I haven't played Madden in forever. It's been years. And I swear that game has gotten so complicated. It's like a flight simulator. Like, I swear to God, I'm playing that game and I'm like, I don't know, the buttons change everything you do. The buttons, it's a whole new button setup for before you snap the ball, then when you snap the ball and you're holding the ball, then when you throw the ball and it's in the air, it's a whole new set of buttons. Then when they catch it, it's a whole new set of buttons. I mean, it's too complicated. Like, they should really call it, like, football simulator. It is not just an easy pick up and play game anymore. I kind of got frustrated. I was like, I, I can't play this. I don't know. And I passed the controller off to somebody else. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I think I'm just also not that great at video games. But yeah, Madden is, I don't know. It used to be like, you just pick it up and play it. It wasn't too complicated. And now it's like, man, they literally have those competitions on, on ESPN where these professional gamers are playing. And I'm like, after playing the new one, I'm like, yeah, I can see why this is so hard to do. But my friend was over and he starts playing this game and he's like, my friend's over and he's like, oh yeah, I can just play any of these games whenever, blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, let me show you this game. It looks really cool. The artwork's in it really, isn't it? it artwork in it is really cool. And I'm like, okay. So he starts playing and after a good 30 minutes, my other friend's like, well, I'm going to go home. But I couldn't go home because I was home. <laughs> And after an hour, I'm like, all right, man, I think I'm going to pass out. And he's like, oh, yeah, just kick me out whenever. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm kicking you out. And then 20 minutes later, I'm like, okay, dude, seriously, I'm like falling asleep. Like, and he stayed for like, he's like, okay, let me do one more thing. And he stayed for like 20 more minutes playing this game. And I was just like, Jesus, dude. Can't sit here and watch you play this game for two hours. So I generally don't mind watching people play video games, but there is a point where it's like, okay, over it, you know? Okay, you know what? Actually, before I start painting, I got some of my Thala Blue and my White on there, but I think first I need to uh, draw in where some of my clouds are going to be. Let's put, uh, let's draw some of these in. So, up here at the top, there's going to be a big cloud kind of coming through here. Okay, and another cloud kind of comes here. And then drops down, kind of comes across the middle there. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to mirror this again. So again, I'm going to kind of do the same thing in reverse. Walk so. 
Okay, and then. And then, and then it can't catch me. Okay, there's that. And then I had another one. Hit me. I kind of fade off the bottom because the bottom and the water, the clouds kind of, the reflection kind of fades off, you know? Um, <laughs> Betty Lou's got a good answer. I'll read that in a minute. Okay, over here on the left, kind of another big, big old swooping cloud. Okay, so again, the water, I'm just going to kind of mirror that. Okay. Once I have that drawn in, I can go ahead and start in the sky with some of my um, little bit darker blues, fill in some of that area, and then we'll go back and put these clouds in, okay? Um, okay, so again, the trivia question was which of these celebrity animals um, is a flat earther? There's that list again. Uh, Petiola says, Stephanie, the singing cat, is a flat earther. She thinks she's right, and nothing anyone says or shows her will matter. It's a pride thing. Yeah. I could see that in Stephanie. Uh, goes back to her family roots of being a lion eons ago. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, it's a good guess, Petiola. I really like your description, too. Um, pretty good. Uh, cheers to you, Petiola. I'm going to take a shot. <laughs> cheers. All right. Okay, let's start painting our sky. So we've got some dark blues. Or not dark blues, but darker than this light blue. So let's go ahead and take our brush, start watering with that blue, and mix some mix some white in there. Okay, here we go. So we got a... I still add a lot of white to that thalo blue, but it's still a lot darker than my light blue. Uh, it's still, maybe it needs to be a little darker. Okay. Once I got a lot of this mixed up, let's go ahead and start painting. Okay, so I'm just going to start painting this in. I want to make sure I fill in. There's still some white areas around. If there's white areas, you know, in between... Because which down here it's mostly covered, but there's some up here. So I want to definitely cover that. And this is kind of going down to the right. I'm kind of letting this slope down. I'm letting some of this dry brush effect, you know, give us some of that uh, rough texture. We can kind of see through it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take that down here. Okay, and then I'm also going to put, you know, a nice purposeful cloud there. Also, this is a good area. You can add these clouds wherever. So if there's a certain part of your you know, sky that you don't like. It's a good area to put a big blue cloud. All right. I want to put a big one right there. Okay. And let's take that all the way over here, past our lines where our clouds were. Now in here, I'm also going to put some little wavy lines to kind of show some clouds far away. You know, I can get pretty um, expressive with that. You don't have to look like anything particular. Really just do whatever you want. Feels like a cloud to you. And let's have those kind of coming in kind of all through this little background here, okay? And you know what else? Maybe I'll take some of my some of my sky blue. I might do some little sky blue ones too, okay? I don't know why this paint is so thick. Sunset in my heart. And maybe I'll put a little bit of this in here, you know? Let's brush some of that light blue in there. Give that a little bit of texture, a little bit of a little bit of form, a little bit of variation in there. Ooh, that looks nice. Maybe I'll put a little bit of this light blue in here. 
They can kind of blend that a little bit and pretend maybe I take that dark blue and go, oh no, there's the top of that cloud. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. I like that. Okay. Um, let's go down here. I'm going to do kind of the same thing in reverse here. So I'm going to start um, down here at the bottom. I'm going to put, I'm going to start kind of with just like this big main cloud. So I'm going to kind of measure this cloud's going to be right about here. All right. So it's kind of going up at this angle, kind of coming down like that. And now in here, I'm going to be a little looser. Okay. This is the water reflection. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly kind of brush this around in there. And in here, I'm just going to kind of make some little marks like this. Okay, so it's a little less defined. And I'm also maybe take a little bit of that sky blue and maybe I'll put some of these little lines right here like that. I'm being real loose down here in the water because the water reflection is going to be a little lo looser, okay? Okay, let's see. What else am I going to do? I'm going to take a bunch more white. And I'm going to take a bunch of white, mix it in there with my light blue. Oh, crap. I got a bunch of other colors in there now. That didn't work. Okay, let's take this brush. Let's clean it out. Okay. Clean that out. Boo. Done with you, plate. Oh, hate you, plate. Okay. Let's take a bunch. Let's go back over here to this white. Get a whole bunch of this on there. I got a real light blue. And down here, I'm just going to take this light blue and kind of lightly brush this in. throw some of that in there don't ask me why maybe put a little bit of this in here maybe kind of have it blend you know in with some of that you know just something just something to do okay um okay there we go that's um kind of step two let's maybe take another shot blow dry and then we'll put the bigger clouds in there god i haven't done this painting in so long i kind of forgot how to do it but it's okay it's looking okay Okay, um, let's blow dry. If anyone wants to win a free painting, there's today's trivia question. Okay. Also, by the way, um, this is this is George, the skateboarding bulldog. Look at him! Look at him skateboarding. He is a skateboarding dog. Wow! Look at that dog. I always wonder if you can tell if dogs are smiling or if they're just hot and out of breath and they're panting. It's like, oh, he's so happy. And really, he's just like dying of heat. Here's a water skiing squirrel. All right, I believe his name was Terry. What was the squirrel's name? Marcus, that's right. Marcus, the water skiing squirrel. Okay, think that's dry enough. Okay, we'll take down the picture of Marcus for just a minute. Okay, what we want to do now is paint in those clouds. Now I've kind of painted over some of those, so you know I could go ahead and where was that? How about here? 
Sha, ha cha cha. So I can kind of draw some of that back in there. And then, you know, there's that. And then there's, I'm kind of redraw some of this if I paint it over a little bit of it. Okay. So for this part, I'm going to take my thalo blue and my purple. So let's get more of my thalo blue on here. Some of my purple. And let's take our big brush. Let's make sure we wash it out. And I think I'm going to start with my purple. Let's take just a tad bit of white with our purple. Kind of got this bluish purple. I'm just going to mix it in there with my, my blue mixture and my purple. Now, the purple is kind of hard to detect on the camera. It just kind of looks like more blue, but this is a more reddish than that blue. You just got to trust me on that. And let's start by just kind of filling these clouds in. That's how we're going to start. Let's just start by filling these in. Down here in the water, I'll let it kind of be a little bit more vague. But I do want to fill in this area. And I'll go back later in the water and add a bunch more blues and stuff to kind of... It kind of covers some of this up a lot. But I still want to get this, this first layer down. So let's start like this. Let's get a bunch of this purple. Yeah, that just looks blue on the camera. It's really frustrating because it used to look... I don't know what happened to my color settings. If something changed... Okay. Okay, so we've got all these filled in. Okay, now let's go back with some blue. So I'm just going to take my blue here, my thalo blue. All right. Not mix anything with it. I want this to be a little darker than the purple. Okay, and let's just go ahead and start. I'm just going to kind of start scribbling in here, okay? You can do it however you want. I kind of like the little scribble. Pretty pink, pretty pink. Make a mess out of it. Go crazy. Okay, so we're gonna do this, then we'll take some red. Put a little red in there. All right, wash your brush out a little bit. Let's get some red paint on your plate. All right, take your red, take your plate. There we go. I'm gonna go back even with my big brush. Okay, red paint. Now this red's gonna be mostly around the outside edge of some of these uh, clouds here. Like, uh, right in here. Alright, I'm gonna let that just kinda mix in there in the inside. Ooh, yeah. And I'm basically just letting it kinda mix in. God, it looks so much darker on the camera. What is going on with my lighting? My paint? I don't know. Like a bird to the main, nigga 
on the verge of the range. Nigga superb with the pain. Oh, that looks good. Oh, there we go. Kind of make those little skinny lines kind of fade in there. I like that. Ooh, yeah, let's do some of that. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Mm, running for a while. Running. Come on. Name. Every so often you might wipe some of your brush off if you've got a bunch of those purples and reds mixing together. There we go. Oh, let's see. What else have I been doing? Yeah, my friends came over and, uh, I don't know. One of them just, uh, would not leave. I had to kick him out of my place, but... I don't know, he just sat there and played this video game for so long. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. What's the 4th of July? My home saw the family. That was fine. I cooked the burgers and the friggin' heat. It was awful. It's friggin' heat, I swear to God. Uh, hey, what's up, awesome hip hop? Hip, hip possum. Okay, so I'm just gonna mirror all these in the water. And yeah. Yeah, now my red's getting so mixed up. I might scrape it off, maybe wipe it off on a towel. And then get some more of that red. Bright red. Wow, I've been running on my name. Okay, okay, something like that. Hey, let's take a shot. Um, Hip Possum, are you there? Do you want to win a free painting? Today's trivia question, here it is. Which of these famous animals is actually a flat earther? Is it uh, George the, the Skateboarding Bulldog? Etc. Etc. Okay, now, uh, F, Stephanie the Singing Cat has already been guessed. Okay, so that's off the board. What if you want to win a free painting? Give that trivia question a guess. Oh. Okay, shot counter. All right, awesome, uh, uh, awesome. Hip Possum says uh, D. None. They all believe in traditional science. Okay. All right, good guess. Um, this is George the Bulldog, the skateboarding bulldog. He's pretty cool. <laughs> He's pretty sweet. And then we got old uh, Marcus, the water skiing squirrel. Uh, awesome hip possum says I always go for the D it's a good guess okay I'm gonna blow dry I'm gonna paint my edges while I blow dry shoot I'm just going to paint them red because that's what color I got in front of me let's see what else yeah I did the uh, did the old Fourth of July thing. Yeah, I cooked the burgers on this grill outside in the heat. It's fucking miserable. So hot. Unreal. I forgot my parents and like their air conditioning wasn't working. It was fucking horrible. I mean, great. I got to see my family. It was awesome. No, it was good to see my family, but it was so hot. I did take a nap. Um, let's see. What else did I do? I watched uh, Constantine with my girlfriend the other night. She'd never seen it. She actually liked it a lot. I thought, I don't know, I thought it was an okay movie, I guess, but she really liked it. I was kind of surprised. It's got old Tildo Swinton in it, you know? What else did I do? I don't know if it was in that movie, but I watched some movie... And I've been seeing this a lot lately where there's two people and they're like, hey, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, give us the room. Has that always been a thing? Like, I've, have they, I've never, I don't know, just feel like recently I'm drinking Four Roses whiskey. Awesome, hip possum. 
Has that always been a thing? Give us the room? Like, I feel like people just be like, fuck off. Why don't you two go in a different room and talk? Instead of 30 people leaving this giant room, why don't you two just go somewhere and have a talk? But I feel like in every movie now I see that. Give us the room. No. Why don't you, why don't you go get your own room? Why don't you give us the room? I don't know why it bothers me. You know, Constantine was cool. I hadn't seen him forever, but... It's funny how Keanu Reeves, for some reason now, is revered. And everyone acts like he's amazing. But back in the day, everyone was like... Keanu Reeves sucks. He's a terrible actor. I mean, he kind of is a bad actor. It's funny how now... Everyone has this completely different... I don't know why this camera is so much darker... Yeah, he still is, right? Yeah. I feel like something, like some younger generation, some... I guess people that just know him from, like, John Wick think he's, like, this amazing person. He is down to earth, which is cool. Okay, let me see if I can... See if I can fix this here. Why is this so dark? Oh, that helps a little bit. Oh, that doesn't. Oh, oh. I feel like I don't need to change that. What about this? Oh, God. I just want the reds to show up. The purple looks just blue. Hmm. Oh. Forgot, I forgot what this was set at originally. Anyway, I don't know. Um, the the painting's a little more. You can see the reds more in real life. I'm trying to. I don't know how to freaking fix this. I need to fix this. Anyway, whatever. Um, uh, how am I gonna make the sides look more like reflection? Well, you know watch and find out. I think what I'm going to do is take a shot of whiskey. That's how. Four Roses Whiskey, everybody. Chase with Dr. Pepper. Give us the room, okay? Everyone leave except me and this whiskey. <sighs> Six shots, let's go. Okay, let's see. Next thing I'm doing, what am I doing? Okay, let's take our medium flat brush and let's get some yellow paint. Here we go, yellow paint. And I probably need to get some fresh white paint. Fresh white's got colors mixed in with it. And then I'll get when you out. All right, so there we go. We got a nice light yellow here. I say they're the same. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put this yellow kind of on the outside of these clouds, kind of like a reflection of the the light in it. Okay. Ugh. All right. Here we go. All right. Some of that. Let's put some of this here. Okay, yeah, and uh, awesome hippossum. That's a good question. How are you gonna make it look more like reflections? So yeah, we'll go back in there, and I'm gonna go back into the water, and we'll kind of paint through a lot of this. Uh, we'll add some little effects in there that make it look more like a reflection. Okay, let's see. I think I had a little bit in here. Don't we all just want to know we wanted? This is my friend's band, The Twos. Uh, let's see. A little yellow there. A little yellow. Oh, got some red mixed in. Uh-oh. That's okay. Let's get some fresh yellow here. And let's put a little bit of that. Let me put that right on top. Right on the outside edge. Dude. 
Same thing down here. So I'm just mirroring everything in the water. There's quite a few layers of this one to make it look right. So it kind of takes a minute. This one does. So bear with me. It says, do I blow dry between every layer? Um, it depends on the painting. You know, this painting, there's a lot of paintings where, you know, things blend. Then you can go over here and paint this while that's drying and come back and blend stuff in. But a painting like this, there is a lot of layers you have to blow dry, especially at the beginning. From here on out, I probably won't have to blow dry really much at all. But um, for now, I do. The last thing I need to do up here is let's put the black in across our horizon line. Okay, and then we're gonna start messing with that water, okay? So, okay. Oh, man. But you know what, I'm not in any rush, you know? I'm in no rush. Here we go, let's get some black paint. Let's take that same medium flat brush, let's give it a nice washing. Um, awesome, Hippossum, do you ever do any art? Do you ever make any art? You got any art skills? You more of a... I have art skills, but I don't have the music skill at all. My dad and my sisters, they kind of have the music gene, but... I don't have the music gene. Let's take some black here. I'm going to take my medium flat brush. I wash it out, got some black. Hear more music? Yeah. I always was kind of envious of people who are good at music. I guess kind of the grass is always greener, but... You know, you can sit there and like... I don't know. Play guitar at a party. There's no recreating. I can't sit there and I can't make a painting at a party, really. It just seems like a much more kind of a cool thing to show off, I guess. But one of my friends, he was a really good... So I'm just going to draw a line across the rise line first. He was always a really good musician. He would always say, at least you have something to show for, show for your art. And I always thought, oh yeah, I never thought of it like that. He's like, yeah, I make a song, but it's like... You know, or you do this, or you're good at other things. But art, there's a physical, visual, you know, receipt, kind of, so. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I feel the same about art, so, but yeah, grass always greener, totally. Okay, what am I doing? I'm doing, um, something. I think, it's not really a tree line, it's just kind of, is it a tree line? I don't know, there's kind of blobs. Just blob up this line. I'm going to go kind of above it. I don't think it's really a tree line. I think it's like clouds kind of going down around the... laying down across the whole skyline. So this would kind of be towards the bottom of our... And then, you know, down here, I'm going to do just a little bit messier, but same thing. Reflecting it down here. Uh, yeah, so from here on out, it is a lot more wet into wet, so I probably won't be blow drying, honestly. I mean, I probably will blow dry something at some point, but... Uh, blow drying is very helpful to just kind of get your first steps in, those big areas where you just block big stuff in and kind of do your big areas, and then kind of go in and start painting. I really hate how it's not showing these reds and purples that well. That's true. Yeah, they're always like, paint me like one of your French girls, and I'm like, okay, so you start crying, and because you know my art's more expressive. You know, it's not just I paint. You know, pictures of people in you know desperate situations. So I'm like, okay, um, think about the most terrifying thing you can and cry. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it doesn't help me with the ladies. What am I saying? I have a girlfriend. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, let's take a shot. I'm just going to start fucking around with these clouds a little bit and get going here. Um, but I think I'm going to have to go back to some of my purple and blues and mess around with those. It's been a long time since I've done this painting, so I'm kind of figuring it out as I go. Hey, cheers. Uh, how about two back to back? Two paintings back to back? Could do that. Lacey says, wow. She's amazed with my 
painting skills. Oh, I didn't count my shot. Lacey, I was saying that the painting never got me. I wasn't using my painting to get women, and I'm not now either because I have a girlfriend. Okay, Lacey. Lacey's my girlfriend. <laughs> She's always amazed by my art. Yes, she is. Okay, so I've got black. What am I doing? Let's get purple and blue. There's some purple. That kind of looks purple. It just looks blue. Here's blue. Okay, they look different enough, I guess. I don't know. Let's get a touch of white. Wash some of that black out. Okay, let's get some purple. A little white. Me? No. No, not Petiola Lacey. It's a girl named Lacey that's talking also, Petiola. You might not be able to see her. Petiola is just an a, a awesome fan. She's an awesome fan. Okay, white and purple. Let's get a nice light purple. Ooh, nice light purple. Maybe not that light, but... Betty Ola, is your real name Lacey? That'd be funny coincidence. Okay, let's take some of this light purple. Let's stop talking about me and girlfriends and stuff. It's making me blush. <laughs> okay. Light purples, I'm going to throw some in here. And, you know, I think as I do this, I'll kind of do the same thing in, you know, reverse down here. So I'm kind of matching it. Looks like the reflection. Oh, your name's not Lacey, though. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's put a little purples in here. Okay, now let's take... I think I need to take... Well, let's go ahead and do this over here, too, while I'm at it. Well, I still got this color on my brush. I mean, that kind of looks like light purple, but it doesn't look the same. I gotta fix my lighting and my camera next week. Purples are just not showing up like they used to on here. It's really bothering me. Oh, is this the big, dumb, dumb, big idiot song? Because I like this one. Okay, let's take just purple. Let's mix some of that. Let's try to mix it in with some of this black here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I'm also going to take some of this dark purple, no white mixed in or anything. Just purple. I'm trying to mix that in out here. I'm not really sure what I'm doing anymore. But I kind of want this black to end up being kind of like an extension of the clouds kind of laying down. I think over the horizon line. Dum dum, I'm a big idiot. Here we go. Hey, see you later, man. I'll let you know if you won the trivia question. He didn't win. One of them doesn't believe in traditional science. You know, we're all just, I'm just, we're all just in a big hurry, huh? Everyone's just in a big hurry to get nowhere, huh? You know, just get a move on. I've got nowhere to be. You know, it's like, move it or lose it, sister. I don't have a date with anyone or destiny. Stay low, stay low, blue.
Hey, hurry it up. I'm not going to be late for work. There we go. Okay, now let's take some colors in the water and make it look more like give us some of those effects. It looks more like reflection in there. I think I'm going to take go back to my light blue and my yellow again. I think I'm just going to go and start a new plate because those plates are kind of all fudged up. Let's get a bunch of white, a bunch of yellow, a bunch of, uh, you know, I guess I'll use my sky blue, even though it's kind of a crap paint. It's all dried out. Big idiot. Let's take some purple. Oh. No, yellow. Yellow is what I want. No, not, not purple. Uh, awesome hippossum says supper's ready supper's ready gotta go <laughs> gotta get me some supper mom paul fix the supper up i gotta get going Speed it up, I don't have places to go or be. We're all in a big hurry to go nowhere. Am I right? Say what? Come on, move it, slowpoke. I've got nothing else to do today. All right, here we go. Light blue. Here we go. Let's take us some light blue. Okay, here we go. This is going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be fun. All right, let's go ahead and take some light blue. Put some little light blues in here. I'm going to kind of split this throughout my water, kind of throughout the whole thing. Especially where I see my light blues, though. Kind of see those more on the outside here, around the yellow. Let's put some through here too. Ooh, there we go. Now it looks like water. Now let's put a little here, maybe a little there. Okay. Same down here. Let's put a nice. Put some of these nice big ones here. There you go. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I like that. That looks cool. Um, you know, I could do this with all, really all the colors. We could go back through. Let's take some purple, some blue, some of my phthalo blue here. Kind of just getting that mixed in there. Kind of find some of this color again. Our color similar. I keep looking at that last comment that says "Supper's ready, gotta go." Uh, supper's ready. I'll be right there, Ma. I'm just joking. I'm not. Now I feel like I'm not trying to make fun of him or anything. Which makes me think of uh, my grandma would always say that. Supper's ready. Well, come on. My grandma would always say, "You'd say what for?" And she'd go, "Where?" Uh, what'd she say? You go, "What for?" And she'd go cat fur to make you a pair of kitten britches and I still am baffled by that I think about it more than I should what fur cat fur to make you a pair of kitten britches I don't I don't know I hope my grandma gets the help she needs someday and maybe Maybe she'll be well again. I don't know. Okay, so I got my blues. Let's get some yellows. Put some yellows through there. We can do reds and purples too. I'm just kind of keeping them in the similar, the same area where they show up in the sky so that they still kind of, you know, reflect. Let's take yellow. 
What fur? Cat fur to make you a pair of kitten britches. Is Grandma okay? She's just speaking nonsense. What else did she say? I mean, I say, did she say? She still says it. Just... Okay, so here's our yellows. Let's kind of keep our yellows towards the middle. We can kind of just do some of that, you know? But then, you know, also in here where our yellows are, there, you know, you can kind of put some of those along some of those lines. See, nice, see, zoom, zoom. Oh, you know, what else? Should we put some reds and some purples? Why not? Let's do it. Why not? Why not? I'm gonna take a shot, okay? Because this is taking forever. Um, I don't know. What's, um, what's... Did your grandparents ever say anything crazy to you? You have any funny sayings that your grandparents told you, Pettyola? One person we knew in our family, I can't remember, uh, someone in our church used to say, for crying in the weeds. And I always thought, for crying in the weeds. For crying out loud is always weird enough, and then, for crying in the weeds. It's like, for crying out loud, you're crying in front of people. It's a big, for crying in the weeds, totally different. <laughs> Life's not fair. Do you see clowns and cotton candy around? Life's not fair. Do you see clowns and cotton candy around? Wow. That is awesome. <laughs> uh, my mom used to say, when I'd say that's not fair, she'd say, life's not fair. Or if I said I wanted something, she might say, um... Yeah, well, people in hell want ice water. There's really nothing you can say to that. I was like, well, I guess you're right. Well, you've... <laughs> We're off like a herd of wild turtles. A herd of wild tur turtles. Is a group of turtles called a herd? Okay, let's put some purples out here. Don't put logic into anything Dad says. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, you're right. What was I thinking? For crying in the weeds. Excuse me. Okay, a little bit of red, and then I'll probably be done with some of these water reflections. Man, I'm being a puss today because I've only taken eight shots and I feel like I've taken 12. That's okay. I'll take another shot here soon, okay? Don't give up on me. I'm going to take more shots, okay? I'm still an alcoholic, okay? Don't give up on me. I can still be an alcoholic. Okay, <laughs> please, just let me be. I'm such an alcoholic, okay, guys? Please. Never done it like me. I'm so unique, so why would I ever seek a proof? Okay, okay. Uh, you know, I think that's pretty good for the water. It doesn't look like the original painting, really. You know what I need to do, though? Okay, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. What I need to do is take the same little medium flat brush and take some of my light blues and put them around the outsides. I'm kind of just neglecting my outsides, okay? Don't neglect your outsides. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix my light phthalo blue with my light sky blue. Just let us kind of get a, a color that's kind of an amalgamation. Is that the right word? Amalgamation? What is amalgamation? A combination? Okay, let's just kind of start. And I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna fuck this up. Oh, yeah! There we go! 
That's all you gotta do once in a while is just fuck your painting up. Oh yeah. That okay, honestly, and this isn't even hyperbolize. I don't even know what hyperbole means, but um one thing I did learn in college, we did this I had this in this painting class and we painted kind of an abstract art. And our teacher told us, okay, now kind of not necessarily at random, but cover up three fourths of your canvas, right? With something. Like and um kind of have not having the fear of fucking your painting up is actually a pretty important art skill. So I just went for it and fucked my painting up and it looks way better now. Now it looks way better to me, anyway. Okay, and it's my painting, so fudge you if you don't like it. No, no, I don't want to. No, don't fudge you. Fudge, fudge, um, I don't know. Fudge the patriarchy. Hey, Robbie. Yeah, I'll send you a painting to P.O. Box. You sent me an address. You didn't send me an address last week, so I didn't send you anything. I'm kind of mad about it. I'm kind of upset. I'm going to take a little bit more red, though. After I did that, I kind of want to put a little bit more some of these clean red, thick blobs over that. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, maybe i just do some of that around some of these areas. Ooh, yeah. No, you don't love me. I'm so mad at you, dude. I'm so mad because I want to send you a painting and you didn't send me an address. I'm so mad. Dude, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. This is my piss face. Okay. There we go. Looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more of my dark blue. Let's fuck with some dark blue. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. This is the fun part of the painting. There we go. Some dark blue. Dark blue, dark blue. Have you ever been alone in a crowded room? Jack's mannequin, anybody? Jack's mannequin? I used to love uh, something corporate. Okay, we did it. Let's take another shot. Uh, or can I buy one somewhere? Wait, wait. Did you send me a shot glass? Did you want a shot glass, Petiola? You can buy... Okay, shot glass... I'm going to lower the price to $15 because I didn't have it at 20 because I thought the shipping was like $15 like it is with my paintings, but it's actually closer to $10. So I put five plus, um, five plus, uh, shipping. So let's say 15 bucks for a shot glass. Send me an ad. Well, within the U S at least I know it's that cheap to send it. So if you live in the U S $15 for a shot glass, uh, if you live outside the U S I don't have to figure out shipping. Um, but yeah, did you want, did you send me money for a shot glass, Pettyola? I know Lugdorf did, and I sent him one. Him or her, I don't know if it was a he, I think Lugdorf's a guy. Look, I don't know, look, hey, uh, Robbie, today's trivia question is, um, which of these famous celebrity animals is actually a flat earther? Is it A, George the Skateboarding Bulldog? B, Marcus the Water Skiing Squirrel? C, Brenda the Drawing Elephant. D, none. These, uh, they all believe in traditional science. E, Terry the BMX Bear. Or F, Stephanie the Singing Cat. Um, what are you guys saying? Wait, did you send me a shot glass? No, oh, I can get one somewhere, or I can, or can I get one somewhere? Just realize I don't have one yet. Oh, sorry, it makes you well better I want you to know i watching the stream naked oh okay well yeah you have to watch the stream naked that's one of the rules my anus is flat my I have a flat anus okay hey cheers everybody I'm gonna take a shot with my paint the edge off shot class <laughs> It's pretty cool, and you can't see it because it's so out of focus there. You can kind of see it in between 
Oh, can you see it? You can kind of see it there. Yeah, whatever. It's there. Um, now, Betty Ola already guessed F. But we can have two, two winners. You know, you can both be winners if you want, really. If you guys want to be winners, you can both be winners, you know. Robbie, it's okay. That's the correct answer anyway, so you guys are going to win. You're both going to win. Uh, what was I doing? Shot counter? That's crap, Betty Ola. Oh, someone else can't win, just you? Wow, pretty selfish. Um, kind of disappointed in you, Betty Ola. I'm kind of like really disappointed. You know, do you even know how selfish that is? No, you're not, Rob, because you haven't gotten a painting yet, because you won't send me an ad. You haven't gotten one painting. So how are you going to have an old museum? Huh? How are you going to do that? I think it's dry. Let's take another shot. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm glad you see that now, that you've been... Honestly, you're just like a lot right now. Honestly, like right now, like you're just a lot. Like, I literally, like, literally can't even. March is on. Double digit shots, let's go. Okay, now the canoe. All right. All right. Let me remember how to do this. What do they do here? Paint that. Remember, there's a trick to it. There's some trick. I'm looking at my other painting for a minute. Let me. Uh, okay. So I painted. Wait, are you the one that sent me like a few P.O. box addresses and I sent a painting? Are you the... Wait. Whatever, don't distract me. Stop distracting me. I think... Hold on a second. Okay. All right, let's draw in a... Uh, <sighs> um, Robbie, this is George the Skateboarding Bulldog, by the way. This is Marcus the Water Skiing Squirrel. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, let's take our chalk, everybody. And let's draw in a nice canoe. Or, I guess it's a canoe. Okay, let's do this. Let's start down here and let's go. And let's bring this up pretty high. Let's bring it up almost like here. That's going to be our point right there. Let's do that. Let's go. Let's do a big old banana. There we go. I like that. Uh, 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 take your lick your finger and that chalk comes right off Ugh. and also the chalk when you lick the chalk it tastes good and uh, it settles your heartburn it's pretty good now down here I'm gonna make a little curve there it's a banana we made a banana okay and you know every banana is 
Gotta have another little line, you know, for the uh, peel, you know, it's gotta have a peel. Hey, that looks pretty good. Well, let's maybe make it a little wider. I kind of draw over and oh, I like that one. Okay. Lick your finger. Hey, there we go. Look at us. Look at us. We're so good. Um, okay, let's paint this in. Let's just paint it in. No big deal. Not even hard at all. I don't even have to think about it. Definitely not stalling or anything. Uh, let's just paint it in. Let's just paint it in. Let's take our medium flat brush. And get it washed out and get some black paint. Okay, wash it out. Gotta really wash it for a while. I guess I need it up there, don't I? Okay, um... Anyway, uh... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Been getting in a lot of arguments about Stranger Things lately. And honestly, I'm gonna keep it going. I'm sticking to my guns. Stranger Things sucks now. I mean, it sucked really after... I mean, season two was... Sucky enough, and then I just kept going. I'm like... It just got worse and worse, like... I mean, I guess you... Why don't they just... Why don't they just make a different show? And just call it, like, you know... Teen bullshit show... Hey, it's High School Musical Stranger Things. And then we know... Then we know, oh, okay, it's like a spinoff. It's like same characters. If you like some of those characters, you can watch this high school drama, comedy, whatever that show is with just a little twinge of horror in it. Okay, but if, uh, but, you know, it's not. I guess that's just what Stranger Things is now. It's just a, it's just a show for tweens. And I don't get to enjoy it. I think that's what. That's what makes me mad, I think, is that I just don't get to enjoy it anymore. It's just kind of like, yeah, I don't care about high school drama. Like, I just don't. So, are we going to get back to the monsters or the government conspiracy part? Or No, no. Okay, kind of, but here's the other thing, though. Their story, like, I feel like, I think they're kind of exposing themselves, too, a little bit. Like, clearly the studio is like... Well, look, this is what's pulling in the numbers. People love the kids. They love the 80s stuff. And they're just trying to get ratings. Like, that's probably Netflix's, like, big thing, you know? Like, Stranger Things is one of their biggest, you know, shows. So they're just trying to maximize their their viewers. They're like, hey, let's just do this. And But then at the same time, they do have to keep writing a story for the actual story part of the show, which is the monsters and the government conspiracy where they're training the kids. And I think we're all just seeing just how dumb their ideas are, because it's like, oh, now they're in Russia, and it's like, uh, they just blow up, and they're over there. And it looks like he's dead, but he's not dead. And it's like, what is happening? Like, that was your idea for this season, for where Hopper went and shit? Like, I don't know, third season I thought was awful. I thought third season was bad. And the amount of people that were just loved it, I was like, I don't know what's going on. The part where Toothless Boy sings that girl, I wanted to blow my brains out. I thought, this is the worst thing. This is horrible. And the amount of people, adults, who are just having a blast on nostalgia, loving this kid show, this children's, clearly a small children's TV show. And I just didn't want to ruin it for them. But I think at this point, I, I mean, I'm not, I don't feel guilty. Anymore, I feel like, okay. I'm taking some of my phthalo blue and white, and I'm just kind of mixing this in here. So you can see a little bit of light shining on the edge of this, but then down here it fades to black towards the bottom. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take some light purple and do similar things. I'm gonna do stranger things to this with purple. Yeah, like I don't know. I just it's just turned into such a children's show that I. I think that's what it is. I think I'm just kind of like, 
damn, I guess the show that this turned into is... I'm just too old for. But I will say also, if you're an adult and you're still getting excited about a Rocky reference, like, how many Rocky references do you need in your life before you're like, this is played out, right? Like everything 80s wise has to have a Rockies reference? Oh God, let's talk about the boys. Yeah, did you watch the newest episode this week? Um, so this is what I was kind of wondering. I'm like, so when are Soldier Boy and Homeland just gonna team up? And it's just gonna like backfire on, on him? Cause it kind of feels like it's a lost cause in a way to stop these superhero guys. And it also feels like they have to keep the show going. So I'm like, there's no way they're just going to kill Homelander, right? Maybe that's just me, but... Okay, so I kind of added some light purple there on the, this edge. and kind of faded it down. Um, yeah, God, I love the boys, though. That show's freaking cool. It is kind of... It's a little too much. Like, sometimes I'm kind of like... I mean, it's kind of okay because it is the goriest, most, you know crazy graphic show out there probably ever maybe one of the ones most graphic shows ever made so it's kind of like interesting just for that reason but I do feel like sometimes when I'm watching I'm like man I would really rather a show where a guy didn't explode out of someone's dick hole you know like that'd be cool like I didn't need that but whatever I mean it still appeals to my you know animalistic you know, side, I guess, or something. For some reason, I still like it, but... Um, who has a 30-foot penis? Okay, let's take purple. We're almost done here. Let's take purple. And I'm going to put... You know what I'm really excited for, though? And I know I've said this a million times, but... Better call Saul. <laughs> Next Monday... It, first episode of the second half of the final season. Holy fucking shit, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I've put in so much time into this show, and I cannot wait. Took a little purple and put that in there. Yeah, it shit does rock. Let's put, um... Okay, let's blow dry this for a minute. We're gonna need a blow dry one last time. And let's take a shot. I gotta stop talking about Stranger Things, though, because I'm just kind of mad. And, you know, I'm mad because it's not about me. I think that's what it is, you know? I think that's the problem. I'm mad because it's not for me. Clearly, Stranger Things is like, you know what? Let's just appeal to younger people that still give a shit about high school shit and like these kids and can connect with them. And I'm like, I don't connect to these kids, like, at all. They just seem like, well, seem like, well, well I mean, I, I hated myself. When I was, you think back about when I was in high school, I'm like, yeah, I was a fucking idiot. I don't want to think about that. I'm gonna, I don't know. I think I'm just mad because it's not for me. The first season was so cool. And if they just made it, oh, no, most people love it. Most people love the newest season of Stranger Things. That's what's so frustrating to me is I'm like, how do you guys love this show? It sucks. But then I'm like, you know, I think it's just that not everyone's 34 years old like I am and probably enjoys it and still connects with high school. And I don't. But anyway. Yeah, dude, everyone loves the new season. I don't know how many... I mean, I mean clearly there's people who've watched it since the first season are like, this is not the same thing. Adults. But most people are young, stupid people who think it's awesome. I think. From, the, from my experience. I just went home for 4th of July. And then my niece, who's my niece who's 18, and my my sister had kids when she was like 18 years old. Um, my older sister had kids when she was 18 years old. Yeah, my... Anyway... Her daughter is 18. She has four kids. The next one down is like 15, and then like 13, and 10, or 11. 
Well, yeah, but it's not about, it's not like, it reminds me of high school when I was in high school in the 80s. I'm just saying, if you are younger, you connect more with high school kids because you are younger and you're like, yeah, high school. Oh, and it's fun to see what it was like in the 80s, but like, yeah, high school problems. I'm still very connected to high school problems because I'm 18 years old or I'm 21 years old or 22. When you're over 30, you're kind of like, who gives a shit about high school? I don't care what decade it was in. Who cares about high school? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. If you're in high school in the 80s, that would make you... Yeah, it's been 40 years. Yeah, you'd be in your mid-50s, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the 80s that people just... It's gotten so convoluted. It's just like, it's all teal and... Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, not really. 80s was very much like old 70s clothes, you know? And All right, stop distracting me. I need to finish my painting. I'm mad at you, Robbie. Don't let me forget that I'm mad at you, okay? You know, I think it's almost dry enough. Let's dry it a little bit more. Okay, I'm done talking about Stranger Things. I'm not going to do it anymore. Because I want to and I'm mad about it. Because the first season was so good. I love the first season so much. And it's just not that anymore. It's just a completely different show now. But you know what, um, Better Call Saul is going to be awesome. I better have a great ending. Um, can't wait for Better Call Saul. But, um, I'm trying to think. The Boys, though, now, The Boys, I don't think, is taking a midway, because uh, Better Call Saul took a, a break halfway through, and it's like, oh, take a month off just to fuck with you and put suspense I always kind of made me mad too because I'm like just show me it like why are we taking where are we stopping the new the uh, next Monday next Monday Monday the 11th I think that's when the so the um, so it's the final season right now they've already put out the first seven episodes I think there's six episodes left. And so the eighth episode starts Monday the 11th, so next Monday. I don't know how you watch it. Okay, you have to have the AMC app, which everything I've looked up online is like, it's horrific, don't use it. It's the worst app of all time. Uh, honestly, I just buy them on YouTube. I just pay two bucks a week and buy them on YouTube. I don't get the high quality one, I just get standard quality and buy them for like two bucks on YouTube. Well, that's what I do. Um, have you not watched any of the new season of Better Call Saul? Robbie, have you watched any of it, of, the, of season six? The season that's out, like, that they're making, that's coming out right now? Because holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Yeah, you know how like in Breaking Bad, like, you know, it's kind of like a roller coaster, but it was like always ramping up. And then that last season was just balls to the wall crazy. That's how this is. And it's kind of finally getting to the point where it's, there's definitely some slow episodes in this, in this last season. Like there's some episodes where it's like, okay, I'm kind of doing this, you know, we're kind of going through this same old storyline. But holy fucking shit. Episode 7 is the one that aired last, and I will just say, that last scene was knuckin' futz, okay? I cannot wait to see what the fuck happens in this show, because there's still so much that I'm like, how does this... There's still a lot that they have to do 
before they get to the to figure out where these characters are going to be because they are not there in Breaking Bad so it's like something has to happen okay let's draw a line straight across ka-chow 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 okay there's that there's only like two more things we gotta do let's take one more shot I gotta watch Ozark. Um, I got like six episodes into the first season and I didn't finish it and I need to. I don't know. It just, I can, I understand what people mean when they like, that's like when people talk about Breaking Bad, like, oh, I started, it was kind of boring. And I'm like, I get that. I totally get that because it is kind of boring for a while. Like it is, there's a lot of slow episodes. Same with Better Call Saul, but they pay off at the end, right? So I'm like, it's worth it. Um, Ozark, I just never got into, or I, it's also just hard when you've already watched Breaking Bad and it's like, I mean, is it going to be as good as Breaking Bad? No, it's like, it's still worth it, but. Just not as excited about it. Okay, now down here, here's what we do. I'm gonna go whamp, like that. Okay, do this. Make a little circle down here towards the bottom. Fill that in black. This is what's known as a shadow. A shadow. I likes and I likes. Thank you, most interesting. This is like my mantra for my life. What I do, I does what I likes and I likes. It does what I like, and I like what I do. It does what I like, and I like. Okay, I'm blow dry this little black spot. Then we got one, one little thing to do, and then we're done. What's Goliath? I've never even heard of Goliath. Tell me about it, Papa. What's Goliath, Papa? I am hammered. Okay. Billy Bob Thornton. What's Goliath, Billy Bob Thornton? That's all the explanation I get? Is Billy Bob Thornton a giant? Who fights David? Okay, take your light blue. Let's take some of that sky blue or a light thalo blue. Either one. Here's what you want to do. You want to take this and go right into that shadow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Boom. Look at that. Hey, there we go. There's our painting. Let's sign it. Put your phone down. I'm gonna take red paint and go wow, 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 wow. Phone down. Let's paint our edges. I'm gonna paint my edge red because I like red. Fuck it, you know. Oh, okay. Sounds interesting. Interesting. What's it on? Is it on uh, a streaming service that I can watch it on? Okay, um, Robbie, let's talk some more later about TV shows to watch because I'm always on the prowl. Okay, I painted my bottom edge. Once you paint your bottom and you sign it, um, you're done. Okay, let's talk about the trivia question, okay? Ugh. Okay, today's trivia question was. Which of these famous animals is actually a flat earther? Is it A, George the Skateboarding Bulldog, B, Marcus the Water Skiing Squirrel, C, Brenda the Drawing Elephant, 
D. None. They all have a traditional belief in science. E. Terry the BMX Bear. Which I'm kind of sad no one guessed, honestly. Terry the BMX Bear. I guess because he's so cool, you would assume he's probably not a flat earther, but... I guess Terry the BMX Bear is just such a cool name that I thought... I don't guess it, <laughs> but I guess not. And then lastly, F. Stephanie the Singing Cat, which two people guessed. Um, and the correct answer was Stephanie the Singing Cat. Yeah, let's talk about it. Um, so I don't... Now, I think... I don't think Petiola cheated. I don't think she looked it up on Google. But she clearly knew the answer. Because she did say... You know, if not anyone anyone says or anything it'll do, they'll change her mind. She knows it's a pride thing. And yes, it is. It's not so much that she used to be a lion, but... She's one of those people who, like, connects with her past lion, even though she's, like, thousands of years away from a lion. Look, Stephanie is a little crazy, okay? Stephanie is one of those cats that just won't let it go and thinks they're right with no facts at all. Someone will say, actually, no, that's uh, here's factual evidence. And she's like, no, no, the Earth's flat. So the correct answer was F. Stephanie the Singing Cat. Uh, nice try to everybody else. So it looks like Petiola wins. And Robbie, you win out of pure guess. Petiola clearly knew the answer already. So congratulations to you. Robbie, you win a painting too. So um, there you go. I will say though, um, I will say... Uh, I will say Terry the BMX bear has thought about it. He's not like he's pretty cool, but he's kind of like Kyrie Irving, where Kyrie Irving's like, "Oh, I'm flattered through, ha ha!" And I really, I don't know. That's kind of Terry the BMX bear. Okay, you know George is George is definitely traditional. He's not believing flat Earth. Most of these other ones are pretty traditional. Yeah, Marcus and Brenda, no way. But Terry's actually kind of close. Terry's kind of like, I could see it. Maybe. You know, I mean, if they're putting chlor chlorine in our water, I'm sure they're the Earth's flat, you know. But he doesn't have any evidence, so he doesn't really go for it. But Stephanie's a fucking Karen, you know. Um, Robbie, what? You want to pay for shipping? Well, there's... I have... Scrolling at the bottom right now, there's... Links, and there's also... Venmos and PayPal's and Cash Apps, so he whisper to me and I'll whisper you my stuff and you can do that. Okay, well, um, hey, thanks everybody for watching and uh till next time, um keep on uh keep trucking, okay? Alright, bye.